G'day, g'day everyone. I wanted to do an update today on the vegetable gardens that I planted a while back. There was a video I did how to plant a vegetable garden. I think that's what I called it. But anyway, I'll give you a quick look here. We'll bring up the old one. So that's what it looked like when I planted them and have a look how much they've grown. In the, in the video I showed how to prepare the garden, I put horse manure, chook manure, mulch and I got it all ready so the soil was beautiful and this is what happens when you've got nice soil for your plants to feed on. Have a look how good they look now. Over the far side here I've got the tomatoes that we planted. I put those stakes in when I first planted them and now I've already tied them to them once and I'll probably have to tie them to them again uh, up closer to the top when they get a bit taller but they're starting to throw flowers now so flowers means fruits won't be too far behind that you get your flowers first and then after the flowers you get fruit where the flowers were so tomatoes are coming on the bushes next we had those lettuce those tiny little lettuce I've already picked lots of leaves off these lettuce over the last few weeks and a couple of them have gone real stringy, shot up and about to go to seed. So you see that there? Eventually that will open up and drop seeds and with any sort of luck I'll grow more lettuce from it. So this is some down here that are still not far off of when they went to head. So we're just picking a couple of leaves off at a time like that, take them inside, wash them up cut them and put them on like egg and lettuce sandwiches or salads and you mm. don't use any pesticides or anything mm -mm. like that for your vegetables babe no I never use any chemicals oh I just spotted a capsicum I didn't even know that capsicum was on there wow look how big it is Okay, next after the lettuce I did... There's another one coming over there. They call um, capsicums bell peppers. Bell peppers. Yeah. Okay, next after these lettuce I did a row of silver beet. So that's Ford hooked silver beet. It's like spinach. Now I haven't picked any leaves off these yet, but we're due to. We're going to do um, quiche. spinach quiche. So with our fresh eggs off the chickens and our homegrown silver beet. We'll make spinach quiche. That's going to be beautiful. But have a look at these leaves. They're just gorgeous. Lovely. So I'm really happy with that so far. And then last in here, we've got the bell pepper bushes. So tomatoes, lettuce, silver beet, and bell peppers. Um, if any grasshoppers or bugs or anything get in there, it's alright if I lose some leaves or some fruit. I'm not that worried. I'd rather have that than use pesticides. And if I really wanted to, if I had a problem, I could make up a mix with garlic. You crush up your garlic, put it in some boiled water, mix it around and then put it into a spray bottle. And just every couple of days you spray that on. And that's just a natural remedy because garlic keeps insects away. There's a frog in the pipe croak and he thinks there's rain coming. Normally the frog starts to croak when he thinks there's rain coming, so hopefully we get a bit more rain. And that's the other reason these vegetables have taken off so well, because over the last couple of weeks we've had a fair bit of rain, and once that rain hits them, they just shoot up like nothing else. This is the other vegetable garden I did up in the corner. I did this one a couple of weeks after the first one, and it has gone absolutely ballistic. These vines are going crazy. In this one I put pumpkin, Cucumber, squash, little button squash that is, and I also spread sunflower seeds at the back. Some of them have taken off, not all of them. And what else did I put in? Oh, a watermelon. There's a big watermelon vine going. And all of those were little seedlings, only from that big to that big at the absolute most. So they were tiny little things, and again, once that rain hit them, because not long after I planted them all, a big lot of rain come through, and that just gave them the boost they needed to start with and they are going lovely let's have a look closer these ones here are the sunflower plants they get the nice big yellow sunflower Colette's favorite flower 
So I sprinkled a few seeds across the back here. This one and these few along here are all squash plants. <gasps> Look at those cucumbers. Holy dooly. Unreal. This is a cucumber vine on the corner here. Now, I looked up here last week and just it had just finished flowering and the cucumbers were coming and they're only about that big, tiny little cucumbers. And now this week, have a look at that. Wow. Cucumber there. Nice big fat one there. Little ones coming. Oh, that's unreal. Looks like there's about eight or more cucumbers on that already. In the middle here is the watermelon vine. That was a tiny little seedling like that when I planted it. I actually planted like four of them and I think the peacock got in here and ate three of them and there was only one left, just one little seedling and it's taken off now, that's it here. That's a watermelon vine. These little button squash plants, I find it funny they get such a massive leaf and a big flower for a little a button squash. I love button squash vegetables, they're really nice super yummy little squash so I can't wait to get squash off of that and having a look here it's already starting to get the vegetable on it see that one that's the button squash coming so it did have a flower the flower dies off and then the squash comes after the flower so here you got the flower and then a little button squash underneath it and they should hopefully get to about that round so you get a button squash off them about that big, maybe even bigger, depends how healthy. So up this back corner, I planted four little pumpkin seedlings about that tall. I just bought a little punnet of pumpkin, so it came with like four in a little rectangle pot like that. Only tiny little seedlings. And I planted those four just here in this corner and that has just gone crazy. Yeah, so that's not even flowering yet. The pumpkin's not flowering, so that'll be a while. And they're um, tent pumpkins, or what they call Jap pumpkins. I'll show you when we get vegetables off them. So that's the pumpkin, and over here is more sunflowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Actually, there's about 15 sunflowers just here. With those ones over there, we should get about 20 sunflower plants come up. Again, they'll be like as tall as me and get nice big flowers on them. So they should be really pretty along the back of the shed here. I can hardly believe how well this one little watermelon plant has taken off. I was just having a look, there's even more flowers over the other side. So we should end up getting quite a few good melons off this plant if everything goes well really happy with these little veggie gardens it's amazing how much difference it makes when you take the time to do the preparation beforehand give them good soil to feed off once they've got good soil and then you keep the water up to them it's just all systems go from there because they've got plenty of nutrients in the soil and they'll just feed off that and keep growing well really happy especially with them cucumbers that's unreal and the good thing about cucumbers is too, I can cut up slices and put them in my fish tanks. The bristle nose, the plecos and all that sort of thing and the crayfish inside, they all like eating a bit of cucumber. So this was just a quick little catch up video, a follow up on the veggie gardens that we planted. I'll do another one again in a couple of weeks when we start to get some vegetables off them. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications and most of all, Take time for the simple joys. Thanks everyone. Bye. Have a look what I just found. I went and collect the chicken eggs for the day. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, and an itty bitty little tiny one. In my left hand, I've got a normal egg. We normally get about four or five of these a day. But then this one was with them. 
have a look at it. <laughs> Normal egg. <laughs> and then that one. What has happened there? They're not first time layers either, so... Normally, I have gotten really small legs before when it's their first lay. The very first couple of eggs they lay are normally a little bit smaller. But these chooks aren't new chickens. Chooks. We call chickens chooks. So, I'm going to call them chooks, that's what we call them. You can get used to it, they're not chickens, they're chooks. Right, deal with it. Right. Anyway... They're chooks, so there. <laughs> Normal egg. Itty bitty tiny egg. So I don't know whether they laid a normal egg and then went, oh, I forgot a bit. <laughs> or maybe they just said, I don't fill up to a normal egg today. I'll just have a little one. Or maybe a quail came in with the chickens and laid an egg. <laughs> I think even quail eggs would be bigger than that. That is so tiny. Maybe the chooks are old and that's her last lay. Maybe it's not the first time lay, maybe it's the last time lay. It's like, uh, do I really have to? Okay, one last little one. I'm too old for this. <laughs> There we go. You could crack it open. <gasps> you want to? See if it's got an itty bitty tiny yolk in it. Okay, we'll sit down and do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll take these ones out. Take these ones out so we can use it. Okay. Are we going to have a yolk? Okay, so... This is exciting. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's see create... what's inside this tiny little egg. No, no yolk. yolk. Only egg white. Only a little bit of egg white. There's a little bit of shell in there. Okay, so as everyone would know, with an egg you usually got egg white and then a yolk, the yellow part, is in the centre. But we haven't got any oak. Yolk. Oak, yolk. You'll tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. Now we'll show you what a real egg looks like. Okay, so that's the normal eggshell there, and this was the tiny one. There we go. You notice how beautiful and bright those eggs are? That's because they're from our own chickens. We've got seven chickens here, and we get eggs off them every day, and they give us beautiful fresh eggs and they've got so much more colour in them than the ones from the shop. Dare me to? Yep. Want me to drink it? Yep. Raw egg? Yep. That's what keeps us farm boys strong, raw eggs. Ready? Let me get to the side. <laughs> Take your hat off so I can see your face. Ready? Steady. Go. No. <laughs> Ready? Okay, you count me in. One, two, three. I did. <laughs> no, that's half of it. 
That is not what farm boys are made of. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching everyone. Well, I um, failed at having a raw egg. <coughs> Bye. Bye.